So what you don't understand about the GOATs of fucking YouTube dating advice? Yeah, I know who the fucking GOATs is. AMS, Mr. Lucario, Alan Roger Kirk, Ron Wills, Step is Cold, MJ Get Right, Fit X Fearless, Coach Red Pip, Afi Kingdom, Playboy Zay. Uh, 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 Playboy? Here come this motherfucker. What? Uh, I just wanted to let you know, uh, I just think that you're not qualified to be hey, a- get the fuck out of here, man. Damn. And it's more of them that I didn't say. They all got different strategies. One of them tell you to do that, then the other guy tell you to do that. Then they be like, no, that's not the right way. Somebody comes around, you go watch another person, he be like, oh no, that's this the right way. I'm about to kill that shit in this video right here. And I know I gotta say this for the dudes who, who can't comprehend real good. This is not a diss. Watch the whole fucking video, B. So this is how you learn how to implement all they fucking strategies. But it's one little thing that I just don't fucking understand. How are you asking for advice when you haven't even gone off your lazy ass and did any of the shit? You sit here and you, at, you watch YouTube fucking videos and then one of them will tell you to go do something, including me, I tell you to do some shit. You don't even fucking try it, but then you asking for advice on it. But you didn't even go out and try it to see if this shit even works. There's only two reasons why this fucking happened. Reason number one, you are fucking terrified to go try this shit. Reason number two, you are lazy as shit. Actually, I'm gonna put even a third reason in this motherfucker. You're lazy and scared. You can't be both, dog. Because if you both, then there's almost no fucking hope for you. You know, it's not all y'all who do this shit, but it's a, it's, a, it's a large majority who does this shit. If you are a guy who actually went out there and tried their strategies and the shit just didn't work for you, or you tried my strategy and the shit just still didn't work for you, this is the reason why. Y'all are listening to the words, but y'all not understanding the mindset. In other words, you haven't adopted the philosophies. Like most of the guys that I just named all live by a certain philosophy and they all have similar ones. Now, what do I mean by the mindset? Like for an example, Alpha Male Strategies and Steph is Cold says, wait on choosing signals. Now we all know Alpha Male Strategies is the one who made fucking choosing signals. This is what happened. A lot of you motherfuckers heard choosing signals and ran with the shit, but you didn't hear why. You didn't give a fuck why he made choosing signals. Like this is you right here. Now you know what I am. Yeah. I knew it, I knew it. Man, AMS shit only chooses singles, man. That shit. Why you say that? Man, fuck why, man. When we go to club, man, that's it. Choosing signals. And the reason why he made the fucking thing of choosing signals is because he knew that a whole bunch of you fucks only revolve your life around women. And for you to have fun and live your life without women, he fucking created choosing signals. He didn't create the shit because he was scared of rejection. He created the shit because he already had women. And he wanted you guys to be able to go live your life without needing the validation of women. But what y'all did, I twisted it and using it just for so you don't get fucking rejected. And like like I said, I'm not saying all y'all do that shit, but that's the mindset behind the choosing signals. You need to know why you need to do certain shit. And like for another example, you motherfuckers keep asking me, what do I say to a girl? And look, I can give you a one good line hitter pickup line to say to a girl. But then after you say the shit that I told you to say, because you didn't develop the mindsets, the philosophies and the skills to talk to women, you're not going to know what the fuck to say after you say that one hitter pickup line. It's the mindset, it's the philosophy, it's you wanting to know why you need to do this. Why, why? You should be always asking, why, why? But now let's get back on track. None of the dating coaches and what they teach are wrong. We might not agree with certain shit, but at the end of the day, nobody is wrong. It's only wrong if it didn't work for you specifically. Like you tried one of the shits, it didn't work for you. You tried it 12, 20 fucking times. You seen it didn't work for you. So then you would discard this shit. Also, what else you need to understand is they tell you what works for them. That's why you need to take what we all say with a grain of fucking salt. Like for example, I say you should code a pro, but then other dating coaches say you should wait on choosing signals. Now, if you are a guy who has fucking women or a guy who has women coming up to him easily, obviously you don't need to code approach. But if you are not that type of guy, then you obviously need the fucking code approach. I know guys, we are not all created fucking equally, but you need to know 
know that we are all fucking unique. What I lack in, you might be strong in. What you are strong in, I might lack in. That's why when you're taking somebody fucking advice, you take what works for you. You don't follow their whole resume because it might not work for you. You are not them. You can't compare and follow somebody else's formula when you are a unique person yourself. On top of that, their realities are different than yours. My reality is different from yours. Like for example, Mr. Lucario, Ron Wilson, AMS, they might talk to 30, 40, and 40 year old women. So when they take a woman like that out on a date at that age, the woman will actually appreciate that shit because they're more mature. Now, if you talk about 15, 16, or 20 year old women, which a lot of you guys talk to, they either want to fuck you or they don't. They not going to appreciate a date like a 40 year old woman would. From my experience, especially when I went to college, when I would try to take a girl on a date, they would literally tell me that they were free tonight. When I did take a girl on a date, like a walk in the fucking park or some shit, they didn't even want to fucking really be there. They would rather be in the bed getting piped. The only girls that I had to really take on a date is girls who were like 50-50 with me. Like they had moderate fucking interest. And because I have game, I, it's easy for me to raise a woman interest. But the problem is I don't have time for that shit no more. So either you coming over, you getting your ass dug the fuck out, or we not talking no more. Another reason why that shit might not work for you is because a lot of you are extreme beta males. Like it's one thing to be a beta male, but it's another when you an extreme beta male. Now what's an extreme beta male? It means that you don't have not even one alpha quality in your bone not one like for an example i'm sure a lot of dating coaches said they was beta males at a time or simps and we were all simps at a time but we could at least still get women so it wasn't like we was these simps who could never talk to women or we never had women in our life or we never talked to not one girl so once we learned game and we learned like female nature it was kind of an easy fix for some of us to to stop being beta males and because like some of y'all are extreme beta males Y'all can't relate on that one level of what the fuck we talking about. Like most of this game shit is foreign to a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all probably have been learning this game shit for probably years now and y'all still have not applied not one thing that you was taught. Like for some of y'all, it's hard for y'all to have an abundance mindset because you don't have shit to be abundant about. So when we tell y'all to throw a girl to the fucking side, you never been with a girl in your life and it's the first girl you ever had. You like, what the fuck you mean throw her to the side? It's the first piece of pussy I ever got in my life. I'll hold on it for dear life. You are more likely not to take that fucking advice because you just don't understand this shit. And what have I said before? Humans have a consistency to stay consistent with who they think they are. So if you are an extreme beta male, you are more likely not to take that advice from an alpha male because you don't understand why. I didn't say this, I'm gonna say it again. Nobody's strategies can work for you unless you adopt the mindsets and you understand the reason behind the mindsets or why they are telling you to do something. That's literally the only way. Once again, they all have similar mindsets and philosophies that they live by, but they all have different ways of going about that shit. Like there is a hundred ways you can skin a cat. Or is it a thousand? Y'all know what the fuck I mean. But here are the philosophies and mindsets that they live by that you need to adopt. The first philosophy that they live by is business before pleasure. That means that their purpose comes before their friends, their purpose comes before women, their purpose comes before having fun. Now if you are a beta male, your philosophy is pleasure before business, of course. The second philosophy that they live by is treat all women the same. So if you are a guy who calls women bitches straight to their fucking face, when you get near a girl that you fucking like, you better have that same fucking energy with her. Another philosophy that they all live by is never deal with one woman when dating. Why? Because then you become a fucking bitch to this woman because you don't have no other girls to fall back on. And you put this woman on a pedestal because she's the only one that you have. The third philosophy that they have is that confidence is the number one trait that a man needs to fucking have. Even if it's just sexual confidence or social confidence, you need fucking confidence. Now they all have different ways of how you should develop that shit, but you still fucking need it. And the last philosophy that they all know and they all live by is that Dealing with women is a fucking numbers game. They know that every fucking woman that they meet is not gonna fucking like them. So because they know this shit, that's why they don't give a fuck about getting rejected or they aren't scared to get rejected. That's why some of them teach, if you go up to a woman right off the jump and let her know what you want, if you talk to just enough women, you'll eventually hit one. It's the same thing with sales. And once you look at women like that, you don't give a fuck what you say to them. But I just gave y'all boys some fire ass game, man. This your boy Playboy Zay with Player Tainment. If you're new to the channel, just know I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I got my cash app down below if you want to support the channel. You don't have to. Like, comment, subscribe. Do